all my beauties and brainies and welcome to another booktube video today i finally got around to reading the original the oj of feminist texts i am really excited about this so if you are new here which you probably are um I was an English major and when I was reading about this book it was other English majors who had said that they had read this multiple multiple times because this is a feminist classic work. Um, I also was reading other people's um, comments on it and they were like oh I had to read a classic in school so I read this because it was a novella. <laughs> it was like, as a lover of reading, I don't re relate, but I appreciate your um, way of thinking, I guess. I appreciate the the ability to find a loophole. I, I, I am impressed by that. So anyway, into the yellow wallpaper. So this book is about a wife who her husband um, deems as sick. And so she is moved away into the countryside, away from her kids for her to heal. She can't do anything that might disturb her sensible or her sensitive um, mind. So she can't even do like reading or talking to her kids or anything like that. And she starts seeing these um, hallucinations of the wallpaper moving. So it read very similar to me as the, um, what is it even called? Like the Southerner's Guide to something about a book club and something about vampires like the southerners book clubs guide to slaying vampires but it, it read very similar to me um as that text in like it's weird it's um creepy it's feminist and there's a layer of like what is going on so especially earlier on in both the texts you're trying to like figure out like is she crazy or is it just something that is crazy because it's not something that we are comfortable thinking about so things that i loved about this honestly i think that it's always really impressive when anyone is like an original thinker and starts or is a pivotal member in starting a movement so that in and of itself I was really loved about this book um I loved how it showed the power that people hold over our reality I thought that was such an interesting concept to kind of like dive into more I think especially as women um I think people's opinions about our opinions have such a strong effect of our opinions, if that makes sense. Um, and there is an expectation that it will be so. If we say something and someone disagrees, I feel like there's such a strong expectation that we will be quiet or we will change our opinions or, um, our opinions aren't welcome in a way that it isn't so with a man just from like how I experience life with like me saying something versus one of my brothers or like me versus one of my co-workers that are a male like I think our opinions are accepted in a very different way or interpreted in a different way or processed in a very different way um and i think that changes how we view our own opinions and how much we trust our own mind 
So I thought that was such a important topic to talk about. Um, I feel like gaslighting in so many books that I have recently read has gotten very um, oversimplified and to that it's gaslighting in like this specific way like for example like someone you're in a relationship and your partner is cheating and they're gaslighting you that they're not cheating like very specific gaslighting um areas whereas i feel like gaslighting can be used in any area and i think that the yellow wallpaper shows like how strong gaslighting can be and how destructive it can be like you if your partner is cheating you have the ability to leave whereas in the yellow wallpaper like her husband has the power over her um due to the time period and especially because they are married he also has a power like over the kids and how much she sees the kids and what her relationship will be with her kids and he has so much power over her mind but also over her life and what she does and who she's allowed to get in contact with and so it's talking about gaslighting but it's also talking about power dynamics it's talking about um relationships it's talking about our um self-trust i feel like i don't know if self-trust is the right word um self-perception and i thought it was really interesting because it talked about a lot of things i personally have not read books about mm. so oh and i was reading my notes so in a very like horror creepy scary way it's talking about how gaslighting really shows um how it can just completely erase your own voice and agency so i really loved that um i was really interesting to see how feminism the feminist part of the book really interweaves with the like creepy horror aspect i feel like when i read feminist books it's always from like a feminist or like a female warrior perspective um that's just personally where i see it the most I haven't really seen it that much in like the creepy horror weird aspect um, with the exception of <laughs> the Southerners book guide to book club, the Southerners guide to a book club of slang vampires or something like that. I feel like the Mexican Gothic tried. I didn't really like the Me Mexican Gothic, but I know a lot of people do. Like those are the two exceptions that come to mind, but I feel like largely feminism into like a creepy, weird, scary aspect, I haven't really seen that much. So I was really interesting, interested to see how they did it. Um, and I was especially surprised because it's a classic and I feel like a lot of the classics at least that we read there's like a certain subject matter that they talk about and a certain structure that they follow and certain aspects that are allowed to be talked about so it was really interesting to see feminism which was very um, non-traditional while also having like this creepy weird um aspect which I feel like would also be non-traditional and I don't know I felt like I was mind blown in today so I think that it would be even more of a mind blown when the book was written so she's just like a multi-leveled um <laughs> a multi-leveled movement starter honestly and a multi-leveled like original artist so things that i didn't <laughs> like about this book um I think when I was reading a lot of the Goodread reviews, a lot of them really liked a lot of the imagery. I personally did not. I found it very repetitive. And I felt like once you read like the first 
couple chapters like you've kind of read the whole book it just doesn't really move I feel like it just kind of stayed in one spot which I was kind of surprised by especially in a novella where you don't have a lot of time to say what you want to say like I feel like they're usually like getting going but this one kind of just like stayed in one place um and it just said the same things about the wallpaper over and over i personally i having read <laughs> the um southerner's guide to book club about slang vampires i know i'm getting this title wrong i'm really sorry um i feel like i understood what the author was trying to do but i feel like it was less clear so i personally didn't like it because i in it just looking at the text of as itself i was a little bit confused what it was trying to do like other than showing like the power of gaslighting and the power that her husband has over her i personally didn't really understand the whole wallpaper aspect i liked that this book was groundbreaking and i love that this book had was very intentional on what it was trying to say in the area of feminism but i was a little bit confused in what it was trying to say in other aspects and i wish that it had as clear of a voice in every aspect as it was in feminism um another aspect is uh like i said like it just didn't really move i didn't really feel like there was a lot of plot like it was just kind of staring at the wallpaper and it moving i i don't know i just kind of wanted more it i just kind of wanted more in this um book so that's what i thought about the yellow wallpaper i love what it was trying to do i love that it was groundbreaking um but I wish it was a little bit more clear, which I know as an English major, people will probably disagree on and they like imagery and like, oh, this represents this and this represents this. I am not like this, that at all. Like I hated Moby Dick. I'm a very like, this is what we're saying. This is what we're trying to do. That's just personally me and my reading journey. If that's not you, total respect to you, but I did not understand what this book was trying to do and talk about, about the yellow wallpaper. I did not get it. So <laughs> if you have any other classic feminist works that um, you know of, I would love to hear from all of you. I hope you all are having an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.